Hello and welcome back to Economics A Level on YouTube. This video is going to look at the law of supply. So in the previous couple of videos, we've looked at what the law of demand is and what the factors of demand are. So if you want to recap those, click on the two links now. The objective of this video is to look at what supply is, what it means, and how price changes bring about what we call the law of supply. So first of all, then, you can see the graph on the right shows what a supply curve looks like, with price on the y-axis and quantity supplied on the x-axis. Supply, we define as the quantity of goods or services that a seller is willing to sell at a given price over a given time period, assuming all other things are equal. So in other words, we assume that there is no other factors that influence supply at that time. So as we have said already, there are two variables that form the supply curve, price and quantity supplied. These are called internal variables. And as with demand, remember that price influences the quantity and not the other way around. The law of supply is where price is influencing quantity and not quantity influencing price. It's important to remember that. So let's analyze what happens when there's a price rise then. If the price rose, as seen on that graph there from P to P1, then the quantity supplied of the good will increase from Q to Q1. And you can see on the graph here that if the price rises, you get an increase in quantity and we move up the supply curve from point A to point B. Now we've got to ask why is it that a higher price causes an increase in quantity supplied? And the answer to that is because of the profit incentive. So the higher the price that a good is sold at, the more profit that sellers are likely to make, assuming all other things equal. That's what ceteris paribus means there. And therefore, supplies will increase the amount supplied. Now, as with the demand curve analysis in the previous videos, we move along the supply curve if there's just a change in price and no other external variable has changed. And if it's an increase in the amount of supply, we call that movement along an expansion of supply. So the movement from A to B represents an expansion of supply. So a price fall then is the opposite to what we've just analyzed. So have a look at the graph again. You can see that this time we're moving from P which is at point A and Q, down because we've decreased the price of the good and you can see the quantity supplied decreases. So there's a direct relationship between price and quantity. If the price falls, so does quantity supplied. If price rises, so does quantity supplied. So it's called a direct relationship. Students tend to call it a proportional relationship, but it's not necessarily proportional they, because proportion means they're going to be changing by the same rate, but that's not necessarily the case. That depends on the elasticity of the supply curve. So it's called a direct relationship, and it's important to remember that. The profit incentive is the reason why a fall in price leads to a fall in quantity supplied. And obviously, if all other things are equal, such as paribus, the lower the price of the product, the less profits suppliers will make. As with demand analysis, again, we move along the supply curve this time if there's a change in price only and no other external variable has changed. And the movement from A to B here represents what we call a contraction of supply, which means it gets less or smaller. The summary then is that there's a direct relationship between price and quantity supplied. As the price rises, so does quantity supplied. As the price falls, so does quantity supplied. Price affects quantity supplied, not the other way around and that movements along are extensions or expansions and contractions. In the next video, we will look at the other factors that determine the supply curve, but this time we will look at what shifts the supply curve to the left and to the right, so the external variables that influence supply. So click here now if you want to see that. If not, please click the link below to view the whole list of videos in this series and to subscribe and like. See you next time.